What's up everyone and welcome to Design Miami. Today I'm on a very special assignment with Lexus and as you guys could tell from that intro, it's been nothing but spectacular. Lexus is a brand that's been at the forefront when it comes to automotive design and innovation. Today we'll be discovering their path to an electrified future, a trajectory of developments in their craftsmanship and automotive specialty. The Lexus exhibit is a concept for future plans of the brand. Some might say it's a volt in the right direction. Design Miami connects the world through extraordinary collectible design. With live experiences on four continents that bring together galleries, designers, studios, brands, collectors, and enthusiasts. Each edition of Design Miami features museum quality 20th and 21st century furniture, lighting, and objects from the world's top. This is the perfect place to be inspired while also learning a thing or two. Now some of you might not know this, but Lexus actually launched in 1989 with a flagship sedan that really helped shape and cultivate the premium automotive industry. It also delivered the world's first luxury hybrid and continuously aims at innovating and developing their luxury vehicles with an unwavering commitment to bold, uncompromising design, exceptional craftsmanship, and engaging performance. Lexus has developed a lineup that meets the look of needs of the next generation of global luxury guests and is currently available in over 90 countries worldwide. Being here for me has been an absolutely real treat. I've worked with Lexus in the past and I continuously see their efforts in innovation and design and their commitment to collaboration. Jermaine Barnes has designed a wonderful piece and exhibit here and Lexus allows it to be at the forefront and to be exhibited for all these welcomers to come and see it. Because this is a place that truly cultivates creativity and artistry. And as you can see from here at Design Miami, there's an abundance of that. All right, guys, we are here with Jermaine Barnes. How you doing, man? I'm well, I'm well. Thank you for having me. Dude, this is absolutely amazing. I'm beyond ecstatic to be here because I do have a little bit of experience with architecture and okay. design, um, but this is something that's far beyond my imagination and my capabilities. How long did this take you to, to build? The envisioning of this entire proposal, Lex is on a very tight schedule maybe two and a half weeks. We had to figure wow. the whole thing out, find fabricators, find people that can build everything and turn my vision to a reality. To design this, maybe three days. Three days? Three days. <laughs> okay, so we gotta all somehow attend Miami School of Architecture, it seems, <laughs> because he's gonna teach us exactly how he's able to do this in three days. That's, I mean, that's incredible. I mean, the craftsmanship is there, the design element, and this is very immersive and interactive. Was so, that like the idea behind it? Yeah, to, to be fair, Lexus gave me a full digital model of the entire car. So I took that model and just started stripping away the steering wheel, the seats, the doors, until everything that was left was those very sleek lines that the actual craftsman intended to show the silhouette of the car. Okay. So it only took three days because I was already given quite a bit of quite material that made it a bit easier. However, everything else you see, the seating, the swings, all of those were then taken from this idea of the very sleek lines, the silhouette that they make this a very immersive installation. Absolutely, and it definitely shows. I'm curious to know, because Lexus right now is on this trajectory of innovation, yep. and they are going from you know, vehicles who operate on gas to hybrid, yep. and now going into electric. Do you find that as an artist and as an architect and creator that your work is evolving as we kind of push forward in this you know, new dimension? Absolutely, I think it's even more accelerated because I'm in Miami, which is a water vulnerable city. Absolutely. So we have to think about sea level rise, carbon neutrality, the earth that we're destroying mm -hmm. like every single second. So to be approached to this proposal, to me was completely in align with what I do anyway, because my entire practice is how can I use ecologically responsible materials? How can I design in a way that doesn't destroy the earth once I'm done with it? So everything you see here can be recycled. The reason it's a silhouette is less materials. Absolutely. The furniture is made out of wood, low carbon footprint. The entire idea was how can I take this new direction of Lexus 
combine it with what I'm already doing mm -hmm. and then push it into something I've never done before. I'm super excited. Yeah. And it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you, man. Thank you. This is beautiful work. Thank you so um, much. And I'm sure everyone else is going to love it just as much as we do. I mean, I absolutely love it. I'm glad Matchless Build did this in such an amazing yeah. fashion and in such a short timeline. Yeah, very quick but efficient. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, if they want to connect with you, if people want to follow you or engage with your work, with your work is there a awesome. place to go to? Yeah, I have an Instagram, gmain16, G-M-A-N-E-1-6. That you can go to my website, germainbarnes.com. Amazing. Yep. There you guys have it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering who's actually been here with me recording this entire time. Well, surprise, surprise. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Maori here. Que pasa? What's up, guys? So Maori's been uh, joining me on this trip, and I think that it's been absolutely amazing. Are you having a good time? Well, I mean, we've been driving the best car I've ever seen and just shooting amazing stuff, so yeah. You guys should have seen his reaction when we actually pulled up at the airport and the car was right there waiting for us. It was absolutely insane. It is a beautiful LC, uh, 2022. Um, Five, I don't even... 500 horsepower. It's just wild, wild, wild time. No, yeah, amazing. It's the first time I'm here in Miami and this guy always brings me to the best places, so what can I say? Can't complain, you know? What are you most excited about, dude? Um, just taking that car back and just driving to the beach again. <laughs> Going to the beach, of course. This guy has always wanted to go to the beach, but stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, you're going to think I'm dumb because I legit thought this was a projection. So I'm walking over and I'm like, wait, why isn't it disappearing? Um, turns out that they taped it on the floor, which is actually very smart because people like me would just mess it up. We are right now at the opening party for Design Miami. So we're going to be going inside to enjoy some beverages. Uh, this is currently the W Hotel in South Beach. And of course, I can't wait to go get a cocktail. So let's go in, guys. Guys, we just got to the Windward area of Miami. Uh, this is called Windward Walls, and I got my boy Irving, who you guys know from previous videos, but he's also from Toronto. He's, he's been out here for a while now. How are you enjoying Miami, man? It's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. This area is sick, man. Yeah, like, look at that. The murals? This. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of see it. That was done by hand. I'll show you guys in better detail, but a lot of the things here are, you know, artists who just come there might be local or international and they're creating these amazing murals. It's a very inspiring area. It's so Miami, that's the thing though. Like I, I've been to other places in, in the United States and like, this is a super authentic Miami version. Yes. Right who has this many colors? Or yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Exactly. Yo, so tell me, what's the best part of being in Miami for you? Uh, can I say, like, the weather? Like, yeah. is, that, is that an obvious <laughs> that, answer, bro? That is an obvious answer. We're out here in t-shirts, you know. It's a good life here. Yes. What's up, Audi? What's up? How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Are you not sweating in this outfit right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> no one told me it would be this hot here, so here I am. Just this dying. Guy, this guy comes to Miami wearing a Toronto outfit. That's nice. Well, that's not Toronto outfit. You're a Toronto, <laughs> you're a Toronto boy now. <laughs> Officially. Now, are you excited for this? Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's good. Let's go take a look around, guys. Let's go. So we just got to uh, what might possibly be one of my favorite museums. This is called Super Blue. Uh, it's an immersive museum uh, that has curated art from various different artists. Uh, this is supposed to be a very good location for anyone who wants to take photos, capture content. So I'm really excited to get in there and really take a look around. So come on in.
All right, guys, we've come to an end. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. It's been an absolute pleasure being in Miami. Lexus has done an incredible job in their installation. It was super futuristic, it was super inspiring, and it definitely got me thinking, how could I really, really push myself more creatively and artistically? And I urge you guys also to challenge yourself to be as creative and adventurous as possible when it comes to exploring different types of art. Uh, and really look into Lexus and see the things that they're doing and their technology and their innovation and hopefully in the future uh, with Lexus being more uh, electrified we'll be able to see some of these incredible concepts come to life so remember to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys all very soon peace